Hello, YouTube Komodo Gaming here, giving you guys a quick look at another brick in the mall. This is a game where you can design, build, and manage a giant shopping center. So, I don't know, there's something about this game kind of excites me. It looks a little bit similar to Prison Architect, uh, but it's just one of those games where you're going to micromanage and build your own shopping center, mall, or basically whatever you want to build, I guess. It is an early access. It did come out today, so if you'd like to check it out, and I want to go ahead and thank the uh, developer for sending me a key. So let's jump right in here. Uh, I'm assuming, yeah, let's just start with the tutorial. Let's just keep everything uh, normal here. So let's hop in and, oh, look at that. Yep, it does look a bit like Prison Architect or maybe even RimWorld here. So it says, hello and welcome. You have somehow inherited this massive land. Regional planning, however, forbids residential or industrial zoning in the area. Commercial is your only option. We can do that. Uh, it's teaching me how to look around. WASD, mouse wheel, cool. All right, this short tutorial will walk you through opening your first business. Let's get started. Okay, uh, looks like we need to go into a build menu. So we need to build a foundation first. So we're gonna go over to the drop down over here and we'll order our workers to build it. So let's see, you gotta drop down. Foundations right there. Okay, so we're gonna, I guess, drag here. This does remind me a lot of a prison architect, uh, how their uh, building system was. You drag walls, or you drag foundation, build walls, probably put the tiles on there. Uh, is this our only worker? Do we have another option? Can we uh, hire more here? It's telling me to speed up time. Let's see what that does. Uh, that's a bit slow. It's a bit slow for me. Uh, can we... I'm not a patient person here. Hire builder. You know what? We need another builder here. Uh, I'm going to... I'm assuming since, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do here. I'm, let's go ahead and try to hurry this along. So we'll hire another builder here. Uh, this one looks talented. Shane, fam. There's something about the heads on these characters. It's pretty crazy. So let's see. Starting hours. How many builders do I have? So we've got, is everybody coming at once or... Okay, so they're all kind of skewed. Uh, we'll just kind of keep people in at all times. So... Uh, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna fast forward time and hopefully this foundation will be done here shortly. So All right, we need to build doors to access the building go to the build menu objects drop down and we need a staff door and a double door So here's our double door place that there and staff door goes over here. Okay Looks like we need to separate our okay. We need to separate storage here So in the build mode, we're gonna go ahead and get some walls here and this is gonna be our wall so I'm assuming storage will be on this side uh, looks like we need another staff door here too so let's place one of those here okay so now we need to assign a function to the rooms we'll go to assign and select storage from the list so we're gonna assign over here uh, let's see storage so we go like this okay so that's storage and looks like we need to assign the rest of it to store so to be where the customers go Got that. Looks like we're going to build some shelves here. We've got build a shelf, build a food shelf, food shelf. Okay, let's see. Objects. Here's our food shelf. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got those. And looks like you got quite a bit to choose from here. You've got normal shelves, fridge, tables, clothes racks. That's cool. Okay, so what do we need to do? Lastly, your store needs checkout counters. In build mode, go to objects and place checkout counters. Where are those at? Uh, here we go. Let's go checkout counter here. So I'm assuming that little uh, where it highlights in blue, that's where the customers are going to line up. So we've got one there and there. So next you will need to select right click on your shelves and select the product. Okay, try not to sell the same product twice for now. Okay, so we actually get to do quite a bit of micromanaging here, so let's see. She's almost through with those, so let's go. What kind of products do we have? We got health and beauty, household tools, uh, media, and toys. I like toys. Uh, we don't have any of those, apparently. No, none of those. Actually, yeah, we do, so it's just generic. Um, let's see. I guess it's just going to be like a general store, so we'll have health and beauty. I always have toilet paper. Uh, if you got a baby, let's go with, let's see... I guess diapers and is that what I think it is yes it is pads and tampons that's nice so we're gonna stick those on those shelves there and we got food well actually not I guess we'll have a beverage aisle and then a food aisle so we've got beverages here we go soda 
Uh, let's see, bottled water and we'll go with juice. All right, so we've got those. Now we need some food here. So we're gonna go with candies, canned food, cereals, uh, whoop, goes together. Rice and pasta, I guess we can do some of that. And we will do sauces and seasoning because you gotta have pasta and sauce. So we've got those and we'll do some canned food. Okay, we need to build a loading zone for deliveries. Go to the build, select road work, and the drop down. Okay, we can do that. Let's go to road work. Uh, let's see, loading zone, right there. Okay, our workers, which three of them are on shift right now, they're gonna go do that. So, we need to associate our storage with our store. So go to manage, okay, we're gonna manage here. Go to the zones tab and assign storage, so. Let's see, okay, here we go. So we got storage down here, and we got our store. So we need to assign storage here, and that's gonna be here. Okay, so I guess all deliveries that come into the parking lot here are gonna go straight to this storeroom. So we've got that. So last step before we can open, in manage mode, select the store on your list and go to staff here. So we've got a cashier and a stock clerk. So let's hire a cashier. Okay, they all have different stats here. So let's see, we got Sydney, Kelly, and Dustin. Uh, cashier wise, looks like Dustin's the most qualified. And it looks like he's got actual store hours. What we open at nine and close at is like 17. So is it six o'clock or no, 17's not six. Actually, can I, oh, I can move all this. Can I move my store hours? I think I can do that too. So let's hire the cashier. Let's hire the uh, stock clerk who's best suited for this. Uh, Kelly seems like she's got things taken care of. These faces, uh, there's something about these faces that are really creepy. Okay, so congratulations on opening your first business. Here's some tips for smoother expansion. Your parking lot will fill up quickly, so build more customer parking to accommodate more visitors. We can do that. Uh, default store hours are unambitious. Manage the store hours. Are, so this is what I was wanting to know here. So we'll also need to hire additional cashiers to work those hours. So offering a greater diversity of products will attract a lot more customers, research products to unlock highly sought after products such as fresh food, clothes, and or alcohol. That sounds good. Okay, and then finally having multiple businesses will make your customers stay on site and spend a whole lot more research and build restaurants, bowling alleys, movie theaters. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, I like this a lot. So it looks like we have a lot of options here. So it says, thank you for following this tutorial. You're now on your own. Okay, that's good. Uh, it's gonna kind of throw us in the fire here. Uh, let's see, what do we need to do? Well, it said something about building some more customer parking. So, don't wanna extend it out here. Maybe we'll just go right across the street with it. So, something like that. So, worker's gonna get on that. I also think we need to extend the store. There's not a lot of room in here. Uh, but before we do that, let's see, where is our manage? Store, what can we do here? There's a way to find the store hours. Might have to locate that real quick. Okay, so we go to zone here, and now we can change our opening time. So let's open at six in the morning. I mean, we could be a 24 hour store. Uh, let's start with six in the morning here, and then we will close at, I don't know, nine at night, something like that. That should be good enough there. So now our hours have shift, so we need our cashier to go to work in the morning until looks like right around 16. So we'll need to hire another cashier. Who's actually qualified? Nobody's really truly qualified. This guy looks kind of shady. We're gonna hire him. And then he will cover the shift here. Really don't want you working the whole time. I think that's okay. So I've got that, it's on auto salary, so that's going good. I think we're good with one stock clerk, so we've got that. All right, so we've got a little store going. They're building the parking lot down here. I kinda want to expand the store itself. So I'm assuming I would go to foundations and we'll do something like, I don't know, that. And we'll expand out, we'll put some shelves here, maybe put some, I don't know, do we have all the other stuff unlocked or, there might not even be a locking system in here. I do remember this is an early access, so there, that might not even be a thing. So yeah, we've got fridges, uh, stuff like that, clothes racks. Uh, wow, there's a lot here. And yeah, we can build a restaurant. Oh, this is cool, this is really cool. Decorations, 
It's only gonna get even better once they add more stuff to the game. Um, let's see, there's a research tab somewhere. So let me find it real quick. All right, this is a research tab here. Looks like we could research alcohol, nine hours, chemical supplier, electronics. Okay, I don't really know what any of this is, so what's the cold chain? What, what are we doing here? Okay, so right now it's researching, uh, it's already completed this product, and right now I'm assuming it's researching the cold chain, which is fresh fruits, all the fresh stuff. So it's gonna do that. It's got uh, 90 hours left on that, and then we will move to another thing. I don't know if it's gonna be alcohol or not hours. I don't know if it just goes down the list or you select the next one. So uh, let's let it do that. All right, they're adding on to the uh, back of the store here. I was kind of curious how they were gonna handle that. I thought I didn't know if they were gonna break down that wall or not. So they're doing that. Uh, objects wise, we'll probably add one more cashier as soon as we add more shelves. Hopefully, we'll have more customers. Uh, we're gonna go with more. I wonder if I can move those. Can I just pick up and move those? I'll have to check. Uh, can these be moved? Uh, let's see, set product, manage store. I don't know. I, it doesn't seem like I can just drag them. There's probably a way. I'm just not seeing it. Uh, let's go ahead. We'll line up some more shelves behind. As soon as they complete that one little area, I need them to do that real quick. And oh, they've all left. I've got my one lone worker in here. Uh, it seems like the store. There's our time up there. So the store's closed. She's finishing this area. So we're gonna line up shelves right behind there. And then we need more food. And then maybe we'll do a fridge area back in the back. She's almost done here. So there we go. So let's go one, two, three on those. Uh, let's do another line of food shelves. Can I rotate this? I don't know if I can or can't. I don't see an option on that right now. So I'll just do it like this. And we're gonna put some uh, a couple fridges back here. So that should be good. We'll wait for the stalker to come in in the morning. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I wanna add. Actually, you know what? Let's do one more checkout counter, just in case. There we go. So we've invested about $40,000 here. It's time to start making that back. So uh, let's go ahead and start setting stuff. Can I not do it right now? Oh, it's not in an active zone. So let me just kind of assign this. I think I go to manage. Actually, it's assign. Okay, so we go to assign here, store. So boom. So now that's all the stores. So that's good there. Uh, you've got stuff like storage, fast food restaurant, ticket lobby, movie theater, maintenance center, which is down here. Uh, restrooms, do I need those? Uh, that's a uh, actual research product, it looks like. So, anyways, let's speed up time here, and then we'll stock these shelves. All right, we are once again open for business. We've got our, I think that's our staff. Yeah, okay, yeah. So, let's go ahead and stock some more here. Our stalker's not quite here yet. Um... Let's see, what do we want to sell? We sell health and beauty items. I guess we need some household items. So, how about dishes? Uh, let's go with, I don't know, uh, light bulbs and electricity. This is kind of like just a general store. There's going to be a little bit of everything. So, we'll do that do some cookware. So, we need to do that. Let's go to food again. Uh, let's see, what do we want to do? I want to try to match some of this. I guess we better have some pet food. We'll put that in the back all. And nothing like having your uh, snacks right by your pet food and maybe some candy back here. So let's fill up all these shelves. So we've got that. Um, products for fridge. We could put sodas in here. I know we are gonna lock some cold items. I guess temporarily we'll put our sodas and some cold stuff back here. So we'll put sodas and put some bottled water. So we've got two shelves so I know we are duplicating that but you do have cold back here say you're impatient you want to go immediately home and have it cold that'll be good to go there oh we're gathering a line here aren't we okay we need to uh we need to fix this real quick staff is it worth it for me when's he gonna be in he's not gonna be in until like 12 so let's hire one more cashier I don't know if depending on the hours or depending on like maybe we'll ship this one we got one in the middle one in the morning and we'll shift this one maybe a little later or maybe this one will just help out midday too. Let's start this one up at like 10. Okay, so we've got that. I might have to adjust that a little bit more. Here's all of our stock. So everything's going pretty good right now. I've got all that set up. This actually looks kind of nice. I like the style of it. Uh, it does, like I said, remind me of Prison Architect, which that is not a bad thing at all. I love that game. 
Uh, I haven't played it on the channel because I normally don't play games like this on the channel too much. But I just figured this one really piqued my interest and I was like, you know what, let's go ahead and do that. And Wait, how did that parking get... Uh... If I run that road, we might have to delete this. I, that looks like parking, and I don't understand how that got there. I thought we were making that go straight out. Uh, let's see. How do we destroy here? Remove walls or objects. Remove foundations. Remove wo road work right here. So we're going to remove that, and we'll continue the road out. That was my bad. Okay, one thing I noticed. Our lady here, she's having a little bit of problems keeping up with the uh, stock here. I'm seeing some empty shelves, so we have some hot products going here, but... She can't quite keep up with it, so let's see, she is, what time does she come in? We might shift her hours, we might shift her to come in at 6 and leave, and then I guess we are going to need a Night Stalker, so let's see, Stock Clerk, uh, Sabrina here, seems like she knows what she's doing. So we're going to do that, and we're going to have her come in, I guess, later. So her starting hours are going to be... Let's make her in right there. So that should be, she'll come in and work till closing. So, yeah, there is a visual indication on the shelves. I wasn't sure if they actually uh, started to go down or started to become empty. Now, this might be a problem. We might have too many people here. I'm pretty sure somebody's about to go off shift, but that seems like a little bit overkill. This is definitely not like Walmart where you, you go in there and there's like 30 people in one line. So that's actually nice to see, so... Hmm, I'm seeing an ATM machine. Seems like uh, maybe we should have one of those. Maybe they will uh, spend more money. I don't know if this is really necessary or can I stick it? Can we stick it out the front? Actually, no, let's stick it in this corner over here. Maybe they'll spend some more money. Of course, I could be completely wrong. I'm not really sure how everything works here, but we're going to do that. Uh, I don't think we really need any plants. There is a uh, floor tiles that we can work with. Let's see. Where is that? Uh, floor tiles. Uh, I picture a checkerboard tile for the, uh, shopping center here, so, there we go. Got a nice little shopping center going here. So, we got that, uh, I still need to work on the, uh, the staff, and those people look really mad at each other. And they're just leaving. Actually, I think we're ready to expand again. I'm gonna expand this top corner here, so that's gonna give us almost, oh, it's like a really fat L. A shaped store we'll be able to put shelves up and down there uh, as soon as we unlock more things but anyways guys that is probably gonna about wrap it up I think you guys probably have a pretty good idea of like how all this works uh, I definitely can picture myself going in here definitely playing some more of this because stuff like this is just fun to me being able to micromanage and we're kind of screwed up on cashiers again uh, at least they're all playing with their phones there but anyways guys if you like to like and subscribe everything helps my channel I'll put all the information down for this game in the description like I said it, it has released on early access today uh, so I'll have that listed there so if you want to go check it out definitely go do that but anyways hope you guys have a good day and we will see you guys next time thank you